Hello everybody, my name's Calvin and welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're going to be going through your guys' suggestions of things we should try in the game. If you'd like to leave a suggestion, either leave it in the comments down below or join my Discord server where I'm more likely to see it. Alright, this first idea comes from Space Tro on my Discord server. He says, combine every planet except Jupiter and then make them collide with Jupiter. All right, so we need to create a new simulation so we can combine all the planets. And let's start with Mercury. We're just gonna put Mercury here. And we're going to launch Venus into it and combine them. Oh, it went behind it. Okay, those are combined. Launch Earth into that, combine those. And then Mars into that. Watch Mars come in. Oh, is it gonna miss? Boom. Mars is combined in there, so not Jupiter. So we do need to throw Saturn in there. Okay, Saturn came from behind, but ate everything. So Saturn technically is winning, but um, now that we have Saturn, we're gonna launch Uranus into that. Boom, oh, that one was good. You can see all these fragments leaving. Okay, now we just need to launch Neptune into it. There we go, and Pluto, because it's not a real planet, but we love Pluto, so we're gonna launch Pluto into it too. Yes. So now if we clear all the fragments, and we're gonna name it Combined Planet. So this is all of the planets combined into one. Then we save this. Now if we open up the solar system, and then go to Jupiter, we're gonna throw it at Jupiter and see what happens. Okay, here's Jupiter, having a good day until we ruin it. Okay, Combined Planet right here. You can see it's glowing still. Launch. And we're gonna launch it into Jupiter. I can't tell which one's bigger. It looks like they're about the same size. We're gonna see what happens. See who wins. Whichever name is left is the one that wins. Slow it down. Oh, it looks like Jupiter is a little bit bigger than all of the other planets combined. Speed it up. And it looks like it's tilt got a little bit off, but Jupiter wins. Okay, our next suggestion comes from QU Empire saying, try making a sun bigger than the Milky Way. So we're gonna attempt this. Um, let's turn off the Milky Way background because we're gonna make something bigger than the Milky Way. We should be able to do it if we just pause the simulation. So let's take the sun, put the sun in here and then pause, just spacebar and pause it and then go to radius, change it to Milky Way and make it 1.1 Milky Ways. Zoom out, I'm still zooming out, zoom, zoom. Okay, radius of galaxy. So now if we put the Milky Way um, right here, you can see that the sun is now bigger than the entire Milky Way. So now we're gonna unpause it and see what happens. Instantly, it collapses in on itself, unfortunately. But if we speed it up and see what happens, it looks like it just dissipates. So we did it, but it can't really survive like that. All right, Lively Space says, you should make a planet with the solar system as its moon. Oh boy, okay, we're gonna see if this is even possible. So we need a really, really big planet and then make the entire solar system orbit the planet. So I'm gonna start with Big Boy Planet, which is a planet I made. It should work if we make the two masses of the sun. Oh, that turns it into a star. I'm gonna use a black hole instead of a planet because that's, I know that will work. Okay, here we go. Here's a black hole. And the size of the black hole isn't even that big. It is only 4.6% as wide as Earth. So, but it's so dense, that's why it works. So we're gonna have to orbit the, we're gonna have to go pretty far. Okay, here's the sun as a moon of the black hole technically. And then we can go to actions and add planets to star. And there we go. So here's all of the planets. Um, the solar system is now a moon of this black hole. Perfect. Unusual Dominic says, could you create a planet that has a survivable day with a freezing night that freezes the water and land? So we need a planet where the day you could live on, but the night it will freeze. So to do this, I'm gonna use the sun as a star and then add a random rocky planet about one AU away, which is about the distance from Earth to the sun. And to do this, I think we could just terraform it and then make the rotational period really slow. So the cold side stays cold for a long time. So let's start by adding some water to it and then add an atmosphere. And let's make it look uh, prettier. Let's add city lights on the back. 
add some vegetation. There we go. This is looking like a pretty good planet. So now um, we want the day side to be habitable and the night side to be really cold. So in motion, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make its rotational period even slower. So this is how long one day is on this planet. So it's about 122 days now. Um, so it takes a long time for it to rotate. So if we check out the surface, it looks like it's working. The back of it is getting pretty cold, maybe even slower on the rotational period. Um, it, we want, yes. Okay, so it's working. So this is the daytime and you can see that it's very hot right here, but you could live. And then on the back right here, it's getting really cold and the oceans are starting to freeze. And if we check our overall habitability, it's at 21.4, which works for me. Solja023 says, you should throw some random objects at Earth and see what happens. So I'm not quite sure what they mean by random objects. So I'm gonna use the human scale objects. So you could see you could throw like a bowling ball, baseball, cue ball, teapot. Let's throw a teapot. Let's make it a giant teapot. So let's aim it right at America because that seems the most logical place to do it. Okay, teapot is in space right now coming towards Earth. It is only half a kilogram, so we're gonna wanna make that bigger, like a lot bigger. So if we compare the scale of this teapot to the original teapot, here's the original teapot and here's the teapot that we just made. So we're gonna launch this teapot into Earth and see what happens. Let's also turn the speed up. So let's go into motion and set our speed. Let's just like make it pretty fast, straight into Earth. Okay, now I'm gonna set it to real time. So every second in the simulation is a second. Okay, it's real time now. Um, you can see it's going super fast because this is real time and this is how fast it's coming towards Earth. It looks like it's gonna hit right in the middle of the continental United States. Oh, it actually looks like it's gonna go down a little bit. Um, will this destroy the Earth? Probably not. Will it cause some damage? Most definitely will. Maybe near the Great Lakes area, about right here is my guess. It looks so small from up here. We'll see what damage it causes. Oh. <laughs> A giant crater is going to form these fragments. There's fragments shooting off already. Um, and you can see it created a hole in the atmosphere. So it's shooting fragments off into space and all of the trees in this area just immediately died. That's like, that's a pretty big area. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly, probably a few hundred square miles. Um, and now let's speed up time and see what's going to happen to Earth. A bunch of the fragments are crashing back down. So it looks like the entire United States is like getting bombed by the entire world. Like half the world is getting bombed by the fragments that are coming back down. Oh, and look, it's punching holes through the atmosphere. So if a giant teapot came at us that fast, it would not be good. Lots of people would die. That worked. Let's throw something else at Earth. <laughs> a sword? Yeah, we're going to throw a sword at Earth. Let's just do it into Australia because why not? I hope the sword is pointing towards the earth. Oh, it's gonna like hit it sideways. Yes, it's gonna be like a rocket. I wanna try to keep it the same size, but then just like make it go the speed of light. Okay, the sword is now going the speed of light. So we're gonna need it to be very, very slow. Okay, this is only 0.2% real time speed. So this is way slower than real time is. Um, but this sword is the no size of a normal sword. It's going the speed of light into Australia and boom. So you can see immediately it starts to create a giant crater. Um, now I'm going to set it to real time. So not even fast. This is now real time. And that's how fast the fireball would travel from a sword all across Australia. Okay, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Giant shockwave and then a even bigger shockwave and it's gone. So it just made a giant shockwave, but it looks like everyone's okay. Mr. Eggs Among Us says, can you teach Jupiter a lesson and throw the sun at it? I don't know why we need to teach Jupiter a lesson, but we can throw the sun at Jupiter. So here's Jupiter, um, the biggest planet in our solar system. If we go into add and go to the sun, then click launch, we can launch the sun at Jupiter. Okay, the sun is coming, here it is. Um, we're going to speed up time and see if it hits Jupiter. The gravity from the new sun is going to affect, look, all of these asteroids are getting pulled by it. It's like pulling Jupiter. It might give it like a launch. Yeah, it's going to miss it and then launch like gravity assist launch next to it. That's not exactly what we wanted. Um, we need a more controlled environment. Okay, Jupiter is all by itself now in the entire universe. 
And now we can get the sun and launch it directly into Jupiter. Oh, you can see Jupiter start speeding towards the sun because the sun's gravity is pulling on it. So it's really like Jupiter is getting launched into the sun. Okay, here comes Jupiter into the sun. Boom! It makes the sun blue. So if you want a blue sun, just shoot Jupiter into it. And it makes a shockwave on the surface of the sun. I wonder if the sun will turn back yellow over time. Oh, it will. So it works. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this Universe Sandbox video. Leave down in the comments what you'd like to see in the next one or join my Discord and tell me on there. I'm more likely to see it on my Discord. Let's get this video to a thousand likes and we'll continue this series where you guys suggest things for me to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.